So hello, um, I haven't been on in a couple days and I apologize for that, but, um, I'm back on now and I'm going to do a read for somebody. Okay. Okay. All right. So someone is watching you and they want to give a message out to you. Okay. Whoever you are, mm -hmm. this is giving someone else a heartbreak. Okay. Or this person could be in a heartbreak. Yeah. This person could possibly be having to move on from someone or move on from some kind of corruption that was in their life. Mm -hmm. Um, but I hope everyone has had a good couple days. I hope everything has been well with everyone. Um, I've just been, I don't know. I preached this. I've been all in my head and stuff. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. There's a judgment that's been called on a high priestess when it comes to a collaboration, okay? With her twin flame. Mm -hmm. And like I said, there's going to be a message. Yeah. There was someone else around um, this high priestess that was just a narcissistic piece of shit, okay? This person doesn't want to close a cycle with this high priestess, but uh, it's closed, so... Um, yeah, because whoever that was was not their wish fulfillment. This could be an ex or um, just someone, some kind of narcissist that was in their life that is battling to keep this, but you don't want anything to do with this person. Yeah, this is making them heartbroken. This person may be pretending like this is not how they feel in front of others, but this is exactly how they feel. They're mourning you because they know they can't move forward with you, whoever that is. Yeah. They feel alone and isolated without you, okay? Like I said, this is probably a narcissistic ex that you're dealing with over here. And um, the cycle's been closed with him, okay? That's why you're moving forward, okay? The angels are leading you guys. I've got High Priestess, Temperance, and the Lovers, okay? Also, the angels are going to be helping um, to guide you into a decision that you will be making soon. Um, in whatever way that may be. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, someone's gotten some news that, um, whatever bullshit they were trying to bring into someone else's life, it did not work. Uh, if they were trying to argue or fight with you, it did not work. Yeah, they totally were. They were trying to manifest in, um, conflict. Okay. They just wanted to argue with you and manifest in bad shit for you. Okay. Whoever this person was, was just argumentative. Because this person secretly fantasizes about you in the background and doesn't want to tell anybody they do this. Okay, yeah. They're probably going to have to stop watching, okay, whoever this high priestess is. Because if this is an ex, probably they have someone else. And, you know, that other person is not going to keep letting them have these fantasies about you, okay? Clearly, because they're trying to manifest fights in your life. Yeah. Because, um... And they've got bad karma coming for them. They, they don't have any good karma coming for them. You're getting a um, love offer though, okay? There may have been some kind of injustice done to you when it comes to money. Um, maybe uh, check in on something to do with money. Um, when it comes to you, possibly check your... I don't know, go to the courthouse, see if there's anything like fucked up when it comes to money involving you that you don't know about or I don't know, call a credit union or something. Because someone is, I feel like someone's doing something sneaky behind the scenes when it comes to money. Okay. Yeah, but you're getting a new passionate beginning. You were happy. You were fulfilled in yourself. You are passionate about your past. And these people are just fucking haters because you have a new beginning coming. Look. I mean, it's right here. It's like right here. This new beginning is not going to be much longer at all. Yeah. Uh, and you may be a charismatic, uh, fun leader. Okay. These past people are losing strength right now because they've been sucking off your fucking energy, trying to cause you to be um, confused and in despair because they were secretly a third party behind the scenes, pretending like they were not uh, fantasizing about you when they were. And they say that you're moving forward. They don't like this, so they want to fight you. Okay. This person is restless because all of their black magic has come back on them. If they were lying behind the scenes, any kind of manipulation, it has come back on them. This person is facing karma as we speak. Yeah. Because the person that they want to be with has no love for them. They've cut them out. They don't like them. This, this narcissist person, this high priestess does not like you. Okay. Whoever this ex is, it's still got this, you know, sexual thing for this person. And it's just trying to fuck with them pretty much. Because I want this person to go back to them. Okay? That's what this is about. 
<laughs> yeah, but this is going to be a tower to that person that, um, something not good is going to happen there. If they are in any kind of, like, this is giving me, like, um, breakup vibes. If they're with anyone, they could be breaking up with them now, or they are, they may be scared to break up with who they're with because of money, possibly. I don't know. It's nonsense that I tap into this person's energy because I know they watch me. I, I know I know who this is. This person is not sneaky. This person uh, thinks that they are slick. They're not slick. I know exactly who this is. And I know they've been behind the scenes trying to build something. When it comes to me, when it comes to you guys, you probably know this too. If they're narcissists, narcissists like to talk a lot, okay? You'll know. They're annoying. Whoever this is, has been... Okay, someone has been working on their happiness, okay? Someone may be working on a court case as well when it comes to a family. If this is involving something shady that this person has done to you in their family or something, um, someone's building up a court case on that or something. Yeah. Someone wants to come out of isolation. Uh, someone has been in the background looking into things. And I feel like they are wanting to come forward with whatever it is that they know or have learned. Hmm. Yeah, because these past people just want you to go back to them and collaborate with them because you left them in the cold. It's just, it's ridiculous. Why? When you're a divine feminine, you're going to get a lot of stalkers. And you're going to get a lot of exes that just won't leave you the fuck alone pretty much. And just want to argue with you because... That's their only way of getting in your energy, okay? They know they can't get into it with love. So the only way they can get into it is by being an asshole, pretty much. Trying to get your attention. When they do that, it's called gaslighting. And what you need to do is just cut them the fuck off. Don't give them what they want, okay? <coughs> Let them fight with themselves. Because you're going to be collaborating with someone new, okay? There's something being looked in on when it comes to a family. Yeah. There's a couple here that's guilty for something. See how they're looking at them with the flashlight? There's a couple here that's guilty of doing something. But someone is behind the scenes working on this. Yeah. These people are scared that there's going that their lies and their black magic and their manipulation and their love spells and their love bombing bullshit and their backstabbing is going to lead to a death. Okay? These people probably wish death on this high priestess at some point. This high priestess is powerful as fuck. Okay? So... I can't promise you that that won't happen, okay? Because this high priestess is going to get a victory, so. Yeah. Because someone, someone has been enlightened on the fact that they have feelings for someone. And they are wanting to move forward to this person. Or that they have feelings for a new creative idea. And they're wanting to move towards that. Uh, something to do with something like that, okay? It's going to bring, it's going to be lucrative. Yeah. Someone's watching them that's going to, like, help them or something. Okay. What do I want to do now? Um, we'll do these. Yeah, we'll do these. But, yeah, like I said, you've got some kind of narcissistic ass ex in the background that's fucking around with the family. And if they've done anything illegal, there's somebody behind the scenes working on this. Like, they may not know this. They may not know this. They may not be enlightened to this. But there's someone investigating this shit. Throat chakra. They've been fucking with this high priestess's throat chakra. They don't want her to speak out because whatever knowledge she knows or she's coming into, they're terrified. They don't want people to know about this. High heart chakra. They also, like I said, they just want to, they want to upset this person. They just want to upset them, pretty much. The infinite. But this person is like, um, their soul is evolved. Okay, this high priestess. You can't, you, you couldn't fuck with this person if you wanted to. This person does not give a fuck about you people. This person is higher than you people, okay? I'm not trying to sound like, you know, I'm just saying this person energetically, it, it doesn't, like, light and dark doesn't mix, okay? This person is of the light. These people are of the dark. So, they, it's like they, they don't stand a chance against this person. Uh, and like I said, this person is really powerful. So, mm, these people might get fucked up from this. Shine your light. This person has come into freedom. 
within themselves and authenticity within themselves to where they can shine their light and not be worried about what the world has to say because um, they're authentic. These people are not authentic. These people are terrified that they're about to be exposed. That's why these people are fucking with this person. Yeah, journey to wholeness. They, they're they going to go through a dark night. They're going to have to because um, they got egos that need to be crushed, okay? Yeah, manifest. Uh, you are manifesting things that these people are not going to like. Life force energy, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're manifesting something that these people, they don't know what it is. Just like they don't know what their karma is. And that's why they are afraid of you. And that's why they are being vocal. And that's why they are arguing with you. Because they know, just like you know, karma's coming back on these people. And they can run, but they cannot hide from God. They can't. Okay. Yeah, someone was seriously putting, like, or attempting to put black magic on this person's throat chakra. Uh, they, they didn't want this person to know things, and they didn't want this person to speak things, okay? But this person has freedom, because this person is protected by the divine. So they can't touch this person. I don't give a shit what they try to do. They cannot touch this person. Yeah. Because like I said, this person is partnered with the divine. Their heart is, like, ascended past whatever little... 3D bullshit these people are doing. This person is higher than that. This person doesn't have time for your 3D shit. That they really don't because they, they're focusing on their life journey. You people just need to get a life, okay? Whoever these these fuckers fucking with this high priestess is, they need to get a life. Yeah, because this person is literally bringing this in to fruition. This person, like, there's things this person knows have manifested in the spiritual that are currently manifesting into the physical and these people don't know what this is and they're scared so they're wanting to fight you because they know you're a realm bridger they know that you know things they don't know and that terrifies them these people are probably scared of her spirituality she of the lotus yeah they're terrified of her man they, they may think she's a witch or like a demon or something but she's not okay if she's part of my collective she's a good person she does not do shit like that these people are just projecting their own insecurities and fears onto this high priestess because these people are scared of their own karma, pretty much. Yeah, radical expansion because they know this person is expanding and coming into uh, uh, who they're supposed to be and they're on their life path. These people aren't and they don't like that. They don't like seeing other people make new blueprints for their life. They don't like seeing people break out of the box because they feel trapped within their own little boxes. And it's really sad that they live like that. Loving compassion, but you have loving compassion on them, whoever you are, High Priestess, because you don't entertain this. Like, you know, you just send these people, you pray for these people. That's what you do. You pray that God will help them to understand because they don't. These people don't, they don't know what they're, if these people are attempting to be spiritual in any way at this point, they're not there yet. These people, seriously, they've got a whole long night of the soul to go through before they're going to be ascended to where you are that's i'm sorry but that's what it is if these people think that they spiritually outrank this high priestess they're going to find out real quick that they absolutely do not okay yeah this high priestess is home to a lot of people this high priestess heals people and helps people and they hate this they hate this shit because they can't do it okay they're not strong enough and and they like people just irritate me because i swear they'll pretend like they're strong enough to do shit but really I mean, why are they doing it? Okay, why aren't they doing it? Because clearly, they're fucking threatened. I mean, if they're coming against this high priestess like this much, it's out of jealousy, okay? Reclaim your energy. This person's trying to steal your energy or these people are trying to steal your energy. These people know that you're powerful and they're trying to manifest off of you pretty much, but they're not going to be able to do that because they can't. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, paradigm shift. They're... These people are going through, like, they're learning new things. They're breaking out of their religious constructs. And they're filled up with ego. So they probably don't like this very much. Okay? And they probably don't like seeing someone unconventional. But that's not your problem. Nor is it my problem. Nor is it anyone else's problem. But their own problem. Okay? Because you're going to shine your light. You're going to keep shining your light. And you're going to keep being happy. These people can't stop that. I mean, they're literally only making themselves miserable. This is like... And it's a couple, like I've been picking up on. They're, they're chained to the fucking devil right now. They're so unhappy and miserable in their marriage. These people are not happy. These people are not in a happy marriage, if they are in a marriage or in a relationship. 
or their family life. They're not happy. They're full of shit if they act like they are. This is why they're scared of being exposed. Because they know there's a bunch of lies and deception behind this. Yeah. Because whoever you are, you, yeah. You're partnered with God. You've seen your shadow side already. You, you've already been through that situation in life. These people, if they helped cause you to go through that situation in life, are about to go through it themselves. And, I mean, you made it through. So, if they can't, that's their problem, not yours. But, yeah. Whoever you are, you, um... <clears throat> You're you're not going to fight these narcissists. Like you're not going to do it. You're you're too loving, okay? And all that would do is bring down your energetic vibration and nobody has time for that, okay? They really don't. These people have a lot of time on their hands because they really like to do whatever they do to this high priestess, but it's it's like they're gonna have to find something to do with themselves other than focusing on her. Yeah. I'm telling you, this person is literally manifesting things from the spirit world. If these people don't get out of their way, it's not going to be good for these people. I'm telling you, because this high priestess is very powerful. These people will receive immediate karma every time they fuck with her or anything attached to her. They will receive it like that. Because right now, it's not the time to do that. Right now, it's not the time to fuck with this person. This person is fully aligned. That means karma's going to hit you very quick when it comes to this person because god does not play about this person this person is on their divine path you i would be careful i would surrender if i was whoever these people are i would surrender because <coughs> again couple you guys need to surrender for real when it comes to whatever this is because i'm telling you you're going to get a blowback if you haven't already i have a feeling you already see this happening Mhm. Mm you do you do you already see this happening and that's why you're scared, whoever you are. Yeah, and if there is a female over here, she needs to stop trying to draw on this high priestess because she's jealous and wants to look like this high priestess. She needs to get over her own insecurities and reclaim her own energy and stay the fuck out of yours. Yeah, just like I said, reclaim her own energy. This person may have BPD or something. This person may be very, like, out there right now. This jealousy might be fueling this person to be... Like, losing it. They, Like I said, they need to surrender. This person may feel suicidal or something. This person's jealousy is eating them alive, whoever this female is. It's really bad. Because they see this person is, like, glowing. They see people love this person. And this person has a loving heart for other people. And it's just so much jealousy I feel off this person. It's sad. Yeah, they're jealous of whoever this high priest's gifts, too. They don't like that they have gifts. And they don't like that they're fully aligned. This female and whatever, the male is still, still feels however he feels. And the female is just so fucking jealous. This, she's jealous as hell. So just that, like, keep reclaiming your energy. Keep loving on yourself because you deserve it, High Priestess. You're a good person. These people, they're getting karma whether they want to argue with you or not. It's really not going to make any difference in their lives. They're, well, it is. It's going to make it worse on them. But other than that... Like I said, they need to stop trying to draw on your root chakra. They need to stop trying to be you. This woman wants to be you. She is so green with envy. It is ridiculous. I see all this green right here. Green. Green. This woman is green with envy. This could be an earth sign. She's green with envy. I mean, it's really sad that someone would feel this way over another woman. We should, females should not go against each other like that. That's sad. That's very sad that this person has that low self-esteem that they would act that way really but okay whoever you are high priestess um like i said there could be something going on with like legal matters too these people might want to watch out because this high priestess might know more than she's letting off i don't know but yeah there's going to be some kind of truth that comes into you when it comes to like a collaboration okay there's been someone investigating something behind the scenes okay they've been hidden but judgment has been called that you are going to receive your blessing from this individual or from something this individual knows okay all right, well, I love you guys very much. I will be back on in a little bit. And, yeah, I'll see you in a, in a minute, in a little bit, in an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Not sure. We'll see. Okay, love you. Bye.